venue or a protest even. <laughs> Who do we got over here? We have a favorite a cowboy from Brokeback. It's Jack Twist. Jack Nasty even. I wish I can quit you. <laughs> I feel the love. I feel the love in here. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Eric, the boys' man, Graziani. Yeah. And speaking of love, thank you, thank you. I went to my first Latino concert last year called El Reventón by Super 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 Estrella. And they had a quite an impressive lineup. I mean, they had Thalia there, I mean, she is hot. A Morela Mexicana. You know, imagine a guy, you know, I've got no titties, but. But they had Juanes, my God. I mean, this people, this guy's getting all the love. I mean, you literally. They throw their bras, their shoes, their underwear, their babies. And when Alejandro Fernandez came out, ay, 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 he just busted out. Ay, ay. Now, I'm not gay, but the back of my hair stood up. I was about to take my chonies off. Oh, no way! Oh, my God, I mean, this guy, Alejandro, man, this guy has been in a lot of relationships broken a lot of hearts, you know, and, and it sucks because it makes me think, you know, these guys who, who are in jail, out of jail all the time, I mean, they have wives, kids, family, and it sucks. I mean, if I was one of those guys, I was in jail and I just came out, I'm gonna, you know, you best be, I'd be craving something. So as soon as I come out of jail, on the phone, hello? Yeah, chicas, me, eh? Yes, I just got out of prison. So I bet you know what I'm craving, huh? Yeah, mommy. Ooh, what's that, Pato? <laughs> Do you know what I hunger for, huh? Ay, dino, papi. Let me, please. Pop-tarts with little sprinkles. Bunch of perverts, man. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. You know, uh, I grew up watching a lot of cartoons, and uh, one of my all-time cartoon characters, a uh, cartoon show, it's Scooby-Doo, The Mystery Machine. Now, that's some ingenious shit right there, because we don't really know what goes on in The Mystery Machine. But I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. You guys always wonder why Fred likes to drive all the time? I mean, I was fond I'm like, you know, I would like to drive too if I had a nice piece of ass like Daphne sitting right next to me. She had a hold of them right, guys. If you're driving a long, long, long distance and you have a nice piece of ass like Daphne, wouldn't you want to get some road hit to make the time go by a little faster? It looks like it's going to be another long trip, Daphne. How about you uh, hook me up? Okay, Fred. And like a famous chef would say, BAM! Before you know it, you're there. Now, okay, we got uh, Shag, Scoob, and Velma, right guys? Now, Velma, I am not even going to touch Velma. Now, that's just a mystery in itself. And Shag and Scooby in the back of the mystery machine, and this is for all you potheads. You know Shabby grabbing that bomb. <laughs> when we're lost. Munchie, it's got dolls. No, you crackhead. <laughs> Jeez, man. You know, I like to do a lot of impersonations, and um, I had a friend of mine came up to me and asked, Hey, Eric, have you ever had a sexual experience being a character? And I was like, Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have. I dated this one quiet girl, and it's funny, guys, always the quiet ones that tend to be the freakiest ones for some reason. So we ended up going back to her place. So I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumb while she's in the bathroom, getting her, whatever she put it on. And then the door finally opens. She comes out. You ready, Chewie? Come on, take it. So I go, of course, before anything, no glove, no love, right guys? So I put on the raincoat, and then I resume. <laughs> yeah, Chewie, yeah. Faster, 
you be faster? Ra, ra, ra. Yeah, papi, beg me, papi, beg me, beg me, beg me. Ra, 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 ra. That's my time, guys. Thank you very much.